And welcome back. That's a Final Fantasy XIV, episode 167. Anyways. Though our plight's cries out for action, we must take thought. Otherwise, it remains an open sea, is affected beyond our reach. Second to all that, you may be sure, but Liminal herself would struggle the best lord of the world and his element. If I, he would make meat and match wood of us. I don't plan that much is playing. Let's return to Limson and see if we cannot think of one. What you in the command room? But you gotta teleport your way there. So we're just gonna leave the Aetherite, I guess? I guess. Maybe at least partially important to, um... <coughs> Do you know that? Wonderwalla. Oh, weird. I don't hear anything. Hmm. Oh, it's Caribbean theme. Hey, back to the command room, please do not keep that, we're waiting. No, but I got my, gotta get my full relic weapon. Again, I, I, I don't know if I prioritize going after them or what. There used to be a hamlet beyond South Tidegate in Western Lanosha. Halfstone was called. Lanosha, so, not Lanoska, huh? Lanosha. Some oh, sure. years prior to the Maelstrom's founding, Leviathan rose from the briny depths and set about unleashing watery hell upon us. On that occasion, the company of heroes put him down before he could do too much damage. How do they not just get enthralled? But when the bastard came next, this time in the wake of the calamity, we were not so fortunate. Weary of ravaging our shoreline, he summoned a tidal wave which fair leveled Hearthstone and washed the soil away for good measure. The area was subsequently occupied by the Sahagin. Aye, the thrice damned creatures transformed it into a spawning ground for their brood. Given the quantity of crystal stolen to feed him and his legion of thralls, we can be fairly sure that Leviathan is stronger now than in his previous incarnations. If that sea demon is left to wreak havoc, what befell Hearthstone may well befall a larger settlement, even Limsa. That cannot happen. The primal must be stopped. That was ever our objective, Admiral. But how are we to achieve it? The sea is Leviathan's uncontested domain. The ships of the third squadron could not close to within a hundred yards of the primal, nor could their cannons pierce his defenses. Batum. I have read the reports, Master Thancred. Our warships may as well have been bloody pleasure barges for all the good they did. Seven hells. Is there no way that we might strike back? 
The company of heroes defeated Leviathan, having first lured him into an inlet. But we must needs contend with him upon the open sea. It will avail us little to consult past experience. Admiral, if I may. Speak freely, Marshal. I've n By all <laughs> accounts, Leviathan's most formidable weapon is the very sea itself. Waves and whirlpools, tides and currents, all these things are his to command. The key to victory, I believe, lies in disarming our foe. This, in effect, is what the company of heroes achieve with their ruse. We cannot lure Leviathan from the sea a second time. But what if we could weaken his hold upon the element of water? I have heard of devices capable of such wonders. They draw upon the power of corrupted crystals, I am told. I just so happen to have a corrupted water crystal. Will that still suffice, or...? If mounted upon a ship, such a device might be used to prevent Leviathan from bringing the full force of the sea to bear against us. Rendering him no more dangerous than any other sea serpent. Of course! Sid built a similar device to grant the Enterprise safe passage through Garuda's Tempest, did he not? Yeah, and it's an ache to get it. Begging your pardon, my lady. But to give credit where it's due, this is something I heard from an old arcanist friend of mine. It makes little difference who thought of it first, so long as it works. Beg the specifications of this device from your friend, and I shall pass them on to our people at Naldic and Vermelis. But before we proceed any further, I would voice one concern. Piercing Garuda's defenses is one thing. Suppressing Leviathan's attacks quite another. In matters of science, I am as a babbling babe. But I cannot well imagine that such a feat would be possible without a veritable mountain of corrupted crystals. The question being, do we have a ship big enough to bear such a burden? Mayhap not, Admiral. But too might. Recall you the tale of Mistbeard's greatest haul? It is said that he lashed two ships together, side by side, the better to bear his plunder. By your leave, we might attempt to repeat the trick. The gods know it would be quicker than building a new vessel. Mistbeard <laughs> did this. Truly, Marshal, upon the subject of the Pirate King, you are as a scholar. Now, from what I have gleaned of these matters, the device will need to be in close and constant proximity to the target. To wit, we must lash our twin vessel to Leviathan. Wow. This in itself will be no small feat. Ramming speed will be required. But given the weight of the cargo, that will only be attainable with the aid of a towing vessel. Yeah, am I a towing vessel? I guess so. Uh... Suffice it to say, the task of piloting said vessel will entail considerable danger, and I would not ask it of another. I volunteer myself. It will be dangerous for all involved, but we have no better recourse. Very well. Commodore, assemble the remnants of the fleet at Morabi Bay. Give priority to our soundest vessels. The repairs can wait. Storm Marshal Slapierson, command of the operation is yours. I want that twin vessel ready to sail post haste. At once, Admiral. And then there is the small matter of slaying the beast. The fate of Limsolominsa rests upon your shoulders once again. Go well, warrior of light. So apparently we actually become warriors of dark and shadow bringers, I guess? Whatever that even means. <clears throat> Anyhow, those gods also exist in what you call the Far East. 
So as they walked among us in the days of your but I confess that I never truly believed them. Well, to behold, one is tumbling and horrifying in equal measure. Now that I come face to face with problem, I begin to understand why the Garleans fear them, so. What's up? What is it? Yeah, well, judge it best that I delivered at once. I'm listening. You know, Jack is the man who appeared who claims to have defeated Leviathan. Uh huh. Look how many heroes. Yeah, he's the animal. We dispatched one of our own to question the individual. Yeah, I don't mind disinclined to put any store by this claim. Should it be true? It is a usual said and unto the company here is the best of Leviathan. You know how they went about it. The man is of their number. What could he tell us that we do not know already? Is it the same guy from the farm? Yeah, having what your limbs uh, survive on two ships, some rope, and a pile of crystals. We already know this man. If someone could yield us any manner of uh, manage, should we not hear it? Damn it all. Well, let's soon be ready. We have no time to wait for the mail since the supposed promise to his claims. Uh, if I'm sick of man, learn what he knows. At least I'll spare you the torment of waiting for the reckless and reckoning and islanding illness. Ah, uh, yeah, that's the thing. And my father is believed to be resident of the Grey Fleet. And Lauren will announce you. Some private center question should be already in the vicinity. Made your journey proof fruitful. That's an actually help me. Really? Uh, Costa. You know what? I don't think we've ever gone down that way. So are these things furry or scaled? Because a Kuro kitten looks like a normal kitten. I think they're furred. They're like, well, like furred and they are ridged as well, it seems. Fuck. Like penguin, uh, puffin things. It's this fucking guy again. Oh, okay, here you are. I have a place to order. you carry the sacks of grain over to the mill. But sir, that's what you said before you had me pick up those oranges for you. I mucked up the table, so it was and before I rolled that millstone over the mill, and also before. Oh, I worked three days straight without a wink of sleep. Three days, and do you hear me complaining? Ah, oh, sometimes just ain't made for the roughest stuff, alright, alright. I right, never let it be said that old, truck to many and generous soul. Ah, oh, break up your ears, because I won't be giving myself too much, see? And besides, there's only so much epicness a man can take in one sitting, again. Not that I'll try to end up a victory of the dread primal Leviabetus. Now, Leviabetus, <laughs> huge. Uh, I made a mistake to give you an idea how long, how big each of his scales about it wide across as many members long. And that's no mean feat, let me tell you that. Uh, I can barely see for all the brine he was pelling me with. Uh, must have been a lagoon's worth at least. I can trust the axe in my hand at once. Of course, uh, he made a mistake. <laughs> well, what happened next? Oh, I grabbed my tail and tied him up in knots. Uh, now I wanted to take all the glory for myself. Let me make some company here to handle the rest. Yeah, Miles as well as a rook may have too modest now. Um, I uh, say so he can never be truly beat Leviathanus. You gotta learn to live with him and make the best of situation, not the company he's ill. What fucking is? Ah, uh, it, it's you. 
Oh, I didn't mean it. I was just enjoying the tension, so I'll take back everything I say. Oh, I'm coming here, so I'm the Marauder. I'm actually a complete coward. I am Chugabo Dung. No, I'm the maggoty fun wriggling Chugabo Dung. I lied to the little and tumble him, and that don't happen much. Man, it's tiny. It's pathetic. Wait, what? Hmm, I get what he means now. Yeah, I'll invite the vibe is, but, but I've seen him with my own eyes. I've had a few years back when I was working at Baker's Hand. Uh, Showing me duties one day, loitering around the harbor that I saw. You make massive sleep in such moms of the coast. Hey guys, you can say for it, can't find I'm so bloody scared, I sold myself right there and then. Oh, God's just remembering the day that he sold myself all over again. Hey, you yeah, asking my lobby is, it means you're planning to fight him, ain't you? It's like Carrie, really terrible, dreadful, I tell you. If you're not careful, you'll end up as gold or at the bottom of the sea. We're both. Are you worth a flying horse, son? I can't believe you made me handle Chocobo Dung. Uh, maybe we're able to learn out of using insane. I beg your pardon. Oh, I beat us? I see. That is unfortunate. Yeah, time to see you. Twin Vessel's not complete. Don't worry, Dread X. Pray make your way here as soon as you're able. Makes sense. It tells me this might have been overkill. Good. It's kind of weird that she might smash someone. I told you John to the Great Flu. Um, I told you John to the Great Fleet proved fruitless. Is that all? Wait, it's uh, to take your mind off the events of recent days, though. Ah, nonsense! Someone chooses upon us. Twin vessel, the War Leader, I call her. It's complete. Where? Where is she? Now, my accident, in addition to a bridge's tonnage, <laughs> in video of the platform, that you and yours my maneuver freely in battle. Yeah, she's high and I unsinkable, but I'm not one to attempt fate. Hmm. Later in the crew, stand ready. Yeah, my rangers, give the word and we shall bury you to Leviathan. Lord of the World. I mean, the dual hawk. Wow. Holy Lance. I'm gonna send you out to encounter with the world, Lord of the World. <coughs> and that'll pretty much be the biggest thing of 2.2. Ah, uh, I know that look. You are ready. And considering some ace, the world leader may not be pretty, but I assure you she's capable. And video with what her friends at Neldig and Vimals are calling an elemental converter. Assuming the thing works. I've had the corrupted crystals to bore on board to rob Leviathan and its hold over water. How the balance falls, you may well need to activate the device manually. Keep that in mind. Yeah, he's by the Saigon and the Thralls will attempt to come to Leviathan's defense. Corner, I thought Saigon died. Accordingly, the Messer will once again employ diversions. And you should uh, I would have you assist in this effort. If it is to fulfill its purpose, your division and force must not win for numbers. While you leave, I too would volunteer my blade. We welcome it. Having seen you fight in the subside, dare say the fishbacks will find your presence highly diverting. And can you show if you would join the third levy and Lady Yuguri the fifth? What a word to have for the man who uh, made a sport of slaying gods, only these. Go early for the season and forgivable place to wage war. And we got you through the storm warrior of light. It's an interesting looking planet, probably. Um, I would echo the, um, echo, get it? Um, uh, Admiral Sentiments. Simmons, and add a few words of my own. I um, uh, know that we all have the utmost faith in you, Zephyr. Crystal, bless and keep you. Here we go. More leader. Uh, the Saigon, a vile beast tribe native to the Indigo Deep, has succeeded in summoning forth a voracious god, the primeval Leviathan. Then we lapse and lynch a tidal wave, the entire city limbs on the means that will be swept in the sea. 
When I living in the leaders of the maelstrom and conceived a desperate plan, I need to gather two warships and fitting their holes with corrupted crystals. They hope to pierce the lord of the world's defenses and give a chosen few the chance to dispatch the primal. Courage and steel. The world leader sits in the bay with their towing vessel, the Triumph. Remember the command to cast, uh, cast off. Fucking go. Mm -hmm. You know what? Let's go to Horizon. Dum dum. Dum 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 dum. Bon. The weapons uh, of legend. Concerned about your equipment. <clears throat> oh, as eventually, you get only against the rigors of trade, making a mistake, my friend. Hands very well prove the difference between life and death. Hear about such things? There's someone I can dress you to. Her name is Rowana, and she's a collective of all manner of rare artifacts. I have something in stock that suits your martial prowess. Your business is not but since we're called the Revenant's soul, so it'll be near to the ancient ruins in which has a livelihood. Should you ever have reason to go there, you do well to pay your call. You know, I basically live near there, right? Oh. Yeah, I like how they're like, oh, you know, it's bridge, just go to Ruana, and it's like, what the hell? Oh, it's this place, yeah. The big sword for me. There, so you know, then you must be the venture of some skill. I was realizing cable people such as you. I just your goodwill, I'm gonna share with you more so information. I like named girl makes his living and weapon in their armor and whatnot. His skills are finest in all around my piece, it's gone to his head though. I'll take to the man if you give him a Oh, and he likes to drink and all. A bloody burial himself in the forge, though. As a young lad, he was cast out, um, here by his master for the crime of crafting and final wares, and that, well, piss drunk. But since he roamed here and there, and he just keep day to day. No girl ever since I landed in this business. I ain't seen him for a while, though. That's my did, though, who had tears in his eyes and snapped him for his nose. On our times, he said, asked for a bit of coin to time over, never been back, neither. Not safe for sure where he is now. Seeing him remember he was in the black trap, putting up a Here's some or some other place. You know, well, to commission his work. My, um, my even forge relics of old. Uh, if you make it worth as well, and there ain't another, no other in yours that can do that. You get no but I promise a payment that might catch a fancy. Don't look like much, but it'll gag your old to fire up his forge. I'm gonna take a promise. Roy used to be traveling weapons merchant, till some no finish cuts on my collection. I know for quality and as if I'd like to work for him, helping to barter his collection away for all manner of rare artifacts. 
Oh, wait, never mind. Wait. Oh, never mind. Hmm. At the finishing. Artifact equipment. I always already free to send. I gave the shells you wish. And yeah, I'm afraid I can't be of assistance. Okay. What shells? Ain't no shells. Unless it's in here. Nope, no shells to be spoken of. There we go. Every single fucking time. So it's like, am I going to be like 20 seconds late? Yeah, I didn't realize it was a ship, actually. Oh, hey. What are you guys doing? Oh, he no, he's got a shield. And he's very happy with that. You guys even like I don't understand how you control a ship like that. Like I know with the sails and all that, but there he is. Alright, here we go. Um... Alright, change the light. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 
gonna see a bit of drop. Does it do anything? Or... Hey. Those fumes may be killed. Oh, ow. Okay. Um, it might, uh, no, it didn't. Turn around those waves, and we all died. Oh, you morals! Like all the raging seas. Yeah, so you say. <laughs> wow. Oh. Hmm. I just wasn't sure what he was doing, honestly. We need to get on this side. Wow. Here's a question. Is the arena actually... Okay, Leviathan's tail. Hey, you're mine. Oh, you know what? I forgot to put on... Oh, you turn it on there?
So we dropped one some mogul mog. Face me. Not exactly my problem, I don't think. Is this dead? Or there we go. Oh, they non to in some of the realist ways. Apparently we can though. Okay, I like how um, the actual, like, decent, his actual thing starts playing so late. But, uh, you know, I mean to say that's a real shame. Wave 2, doesn't he do something special or something? Wait, that's, it. that's an AOE. Do you think I'll ever realize that? There we go. Or is there still or something? Yeah, that is super easy. This is a blessing of light.
Business, I thought I'd best refrain from making conversation during the past few visits. I'll wear myself a few words. <clears throat> to the you have the honor of meeting a hero such as you. Um, you're an inspiration to us all, sir. And on that note, I'll wait to the command room. Wink. <laughs> yeah. Like that, actually. Hey, I'm a random NPC who just serves to travel you up and down for more important NPCs, but you know what? Thank you. <laughs> Minsons are sworn to strive till sea swallows all, and swallow all it would have had Leviathan prevailed. That we still strive now, we owe in no small part to you. Not for the first time, you have delivered Limsa Lominsa from the wrath of a primal. Never has our nation known a stouter ally. On behalf of my people, I give you my humblest thanks. Tis meet that I give thanks to old Mistbeard, too, for his fine solution. Whatever else he may have been, tis clear he was a resourceful soul. Would that I had a man like him in my service. So I guess you used to be like a quartermaster Before or whatever, or even him. Lands, I had no inkling that the people of Eorzea contended with such mighty foes. Suffice it to say, their existence came as something of a shock, as did the idea that they could be defeated. This experience has served to remind me of the vastness of the world, and the boundless potential of man. Though I am but a refugee in this realm, I would fain be of use to you in your fight. Know that I am tutored in one of the foremost combat arts of the Far East. It may seem outlandish to the Eorzean eye, but should any of your people care to learn, I would be pleased to initiate them. And I will see to it that they are grateful. I have no doubt that your knowledge and skills will serve us well. Besides, your art is not so outlandish as you think. Would you not agree, Master Thancred? Not escapes your searching eye, Admiral. Few are privy to this information, but Limsa Lominsa is home to a certain secret fraternity. Its members are trained in a form of combat not unlike your own. By my judgment, it should not be beyond such individuals to adapt to the techniques I witnessed you employing with such admirable deafness. I am heartened to hear this. I too noted a kinship between your style and mine own. Though it seemed to me that you fought differently in the beginning. Uh, I, I suppose I did. What can I say? I'm a man of many talents. <laughs> <laughs> Though you may labor to believe it, Thancred was once something of a scoundrel who fraternized with the criminal class in these parts. You stole her! You jest, of course. But for a chance encounter with Alfino's grandsire, he might never have left Limsa Lominsa, or received an education in Charlian, or taken up his post in Uldar, which is where he trained in the Blade, lest you wonder. And also got infected. Please. <laughs> it would seem there is more to you than meets the eye, Master Thancred. Lady Yugiri, I am told that you and yours came to Eorzea seeking permanent resettlement, and that many domains have since been engaged as frontier hands at Revenant's Toll. Mordona is many things, but a place of refuge it is not. 
Know that I would like nothing better than to furnish your people with a new home here on Lominson soil. Alas, wracked by instability as we are, our nation is in no fit state to take... No one is. Yet I'll not have it said that we turned a blind eye to your suffering. Until such time as we can do more, I pledge to send provisions. We are in your debt, Admiral. I realize that it scarce qualifies as repayment. But if it please you, I shall set about sharing my martial knowledge with your people at once. No, but anyways. You wished a word in private. Yes, yeah, so private we're not going to see it, at least not this episode. Though.